The police are stunned that eight professional robbers could swoop in on a passenger plane parked at an airport and make off with $50 million of diamonds in five minutes. How did they do it and who are they? ABC's Dan Harris tonight on The Big Job. This diamond heist is being called spectacular, daring, and clinical. Something straight out of Ocean's 13. It was 7.47 p.m. at the airport in Brussels. Passengers had already boarded this Swiss jet, the precious cargo being loaded down below. What they couldn't see? Two black vans had broken through a security fence. They raced across the tarmac, flashing blue lights like cops. The eight robbers wearing camouflage masks, dark police clothing, and even reportedly the armbands used by airport security whipped out machine guns. In just three minutes, they grabbed the diamonds from the cargo hold. It took them only two more minutes to speed off through the exact same hole in that fence. It was all over in barely five minutes. So this was a very quick hit and run, very well organized. There has been no shooting, there were no injuries. Police later found a burned out vehicle they believe was used in the heist. Suspicion will immediately fall on international rings who have carried out brazen broad daylight smash and grab jobs and even raided this mall on motorcycles. From an investigator's perspective, what's your view of this crime? Sometimes the hound dog has to compliment the fox. Sometimes the detective has to tip his hat to the thieves. Former NYPD uh, investigator Nick Casal says the thieves may have had military training and almost certainly had inside help. Today, we went to New York's Diamond District with Casal and Rob Zoland, a dealer. Is it possible to unload 50 million dollars worth of diamonds? Can, can you find buyers for that? Uh, probably without uh, without uh, raising suspicion, I would say it would be kind of hard. And there are other big challenges for the criminals right now, splitting up all the money and maintaining secrecy with investigators all over the globe on their trail. I think in the end, the good guys win on this one. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.